Today we're going to look at the four different conic sections. So conic sections are formed from a, this is called a right circular cone. Um, it's a circular cone because it has a circular base and we call it a right cone because the axis, the vertical line that goes through the vertex, is perpendicular to the base. So it forms a right angle. So conic sections are formed when a geometric plane is cutting through a cone. So when we're talking about a cone, it's a little different than this uh, cone that we talk about in a normal sense in that it has two different sides. It has a top side and a bottom side. Uh, these sides are called NAPPES, N-A-P-P-E-S. Uh, so if a plane is intersecting a single NAP, we can see that it's going to form an ellipse. So as we adjust the angle of this plane, it's going to cause your ellipse to be more oval shape. Um, if it intersects at a angle of zero, meaning it's perpendicular to the axis of your cone, we get a circle. And a circle is just a special case of an ellipse. So we can see that through the cross section from the top, we get a perfect circle when it cuts through perpendicular to the axis. So a, a circle is when this plane intersects just a single nap and it's perpendicular to the rectangular axis. Uh, an ellipse is formed when it's at an angle because then it makes an oval shape. If we continue to change this degree measure and we make the plane parallel to the side of our cone, I think this one's going to be at 45 degrees, yeah, uh, we get a parabola. So it's going to intersect only one of the naps. It's never going to hit this other one because its side is parallel. And as a result, it gets this curve, which we know as a parabola. Um, and then if we continue to change the angle to make it a little steeper, now it's going to intersect both of our naps. And it kind of looks like we have a parabola on top and bottom, but we call this figure a hyperbola. So it's going to be sort of a parabola, parabola shape going uh, that's formed by the plane intersecting both of our naps. So there are four different conic sections. Uh, they are the circle, the ellipse, the parabola, and the hyperbola. And they all have very specific features and things that we're going to look at, but I just wanted you to be familiar with how they're formed and what their shape looks like.